So looking at that radiographically, you've got that defect back there adjacent to the, the distal aspect of the distal root on that first molar, which is a significant area. Uh, you've also certainly got the um, bone changes on that second molar. The second molar is dispensable. So <clears throat> we would definitely want to extract that because that's part of the reason why that defects there, obviously, <clears throat> and it's not a highly functional tooth. So extracting that certainly eliminates the potential for that lesion to occur again. If we leave it, then it's very likely going to occur again, so we want to get that out of there, even if it's a minor defect. I mean, this one's got some major things going on. You get, see the increased period on the ligament space around that distal root. You've got uh, probably a periapical lesion on the mesial root, so we'd want to get rid of that. And again, even if it's not that bad, we want to extract that. And that also accomplishes exposing that area better so we can see down in there and clean that defect much more readily. <clears throat>